Before the break, we asked how many snowmobiles were registered in Canada in 2012. If you answered A, 593,248, you were correct. Going into model year 2013, Articat is hoping to carry forward the incredible momentum they created from their massive and very successful launch of the 2012 fleet of cats. 2012, as you know, we are uh, the year of the cat. We brought that logo back and we were excited uh, um, by dropping out a whole new uh, line of uh, what we call pro cross and pro climb sleds. And we did really well on those uh, those models. They, they basically crossed uh, three categories for us, uh, performance, uh, segment, the crossover segment, and the mountain segment. Uh, we enjoyed uh, spring sales that we've never seen in the snow business in a long time. Um, that got us going, and then what happened was the uh, in-season sales getting up to Christmas time was very, very strong, and at the point we were actually sold out of some models at the retail level. And that's the momentum we're going to build on. So we're going to get our customer sleds that they can uh, now order in the spring for next year, and we've uh, did some changes as well as added some new models. It's a great accomplishment for us at Arcticad. One is that um, we really stressed last year in our in our product lineup and our and our um, marketing plan to our consumers, and uh, really went after a market of that 125 um, horsepower class. And we do not offer a 600 two-stroke in that class. We offer 1100 four-stroke, and we've been really pushing that. And, and the success there was we coupled that engine with a lightweight chassis, and we got it out to our consumers, got it out to the media guys, and it has really paid off. The, the comments we're getting back from our consumers on that product um, so far has been very positive, and we're looking forward to uh, you know gaining on that momentum as well for next year, and, and really driving the fact that um, right across those uh, the segments, we we got F1100 kind of in the performance segment, we got the XF1100 in the crossover segment, and then in the mountain segment, we had an M1100, didn't really do exactly what we wanted to do, but it really brought different people to the sport, even on the on the mountain side. We realized that was a, a sled we penetrated the market on the rental, and we built that sled, we weren't thinking of that. Um, but as the five at the top right now, it, it is a cross of uh, you know the new platform. When you look at the 2012, that is what is retailing, and that is the performance crossover and mountain segments. Congrats to Cat on a job well done. And as for momentum, the ingredient is quite clear. Just add snow, and we are good to go. big issue right now, <laughs> volunteers. Um, a lot of the volunteers are over over the age of 60, the retired guys and the new young guys aren't coming up through the system. And uh, that's one thing that we're trying to push as volunteers. But just trying to get them to realize all the initial out costs of the trail because they just think it's there and given to them. What is the annual economic impact of snowmobiling in Canada? The answer when we return. When STV returns, four-stroke future.